To start off this top, we're first going to grab our category 3 yarn, make a slip knot, grab our 4mm hook, and we're going to start off by making a chain that can wrap around our neck minus 5 inches. Once we have our chain, what we're going to do from here is block off this last chain. We're going to chain up three. These three counts as a double crochet. We're going to prepare for a double crochet. And then put one double crochet into that loop that we blocked off or the fourth loop from the hook. And then we're going to work all the way down our chain that we just made, putting one double crochet into every loop. And then once we get to the end, we're going to chain up three and then double crochet back. And we're going to keep going back and forth like that until we have a solid block of double crochet that is as thick as the neck portion as you guys want. I'm going to keep going until I have about an inch and a half and then I'll meet you guys back. We now have our chunk of solid double crochet that fits around our neck and now we're going to start working on the chest detail. But now that we're starting to work on the chest detail, it is going to need to start fanning out. So what we're first going to do is chain out three. This counts as a double crochet. We're going to flip our work, prepare for a double crochet, and then we're going to be increasing into every back loop that we have. So into this first loop that we have. This is the same loop that our chain up of three is in. We're going to put a back loop double crochet. And then into the next one, we're going to be putting two. So into this next back loop, two double crochet. There's one. And then there's two. Let's do this one more time. Prepare for a double crochet into this next back loop. Here's one double crochet and two double crochet. So into every back loop that we have, put two double crochet and then I'll meet you guys back once we make it to the end of this row. We made it all the way down with a row of back loop double crochets and we increased into every loop that we had and I'm just going to let you guys know the reason why we did this into the back loops is so that once we wear it this part is obviously going to be up where our neck is. With this ridging that we have it's much easier for this part to fold over so it'll look a lot cleaner when we wear it and that is basically the reason why we did it so this ridging is going to be on the inside but anyways moving on we're going to do a row of thicker net so we're going to chain up three flip our work prepare for a double crochet and we're going to do a regular double crochet into the same loop that we're in and then once we have that we're going to chain up one prepare for a double crochet count out three loops one two three insert your hook into that third with two double crochet just like that and from here chain one prepare for a double crochet count out one two three and then into that third put two more double crochet into that same loop with a chain one in between and we're going to keep doing this all the way down now that we made our way all the way down with our row of thicker net now we're going to do a row of regular net so what we're going to do is chain up three this counts as a double crochet. We're also going to chain up two more. So this first chunk is going to be a chain up of five in total. Flip our work, prepare for a double crochet. And then into this first gap that we have in between our two sets of two double crochet, we're going to put just one double crochet. And that's what we should have. So let's do this again. We're going to chain out two, prepare for a double crochet into that next gap, go in with one double crochet. Then we're going to keep doing this all the way down. So chain two, one double crochet into the gap and then keep going from there. Now that we have our row of net, we're next going to go in with a row of shells. So in order to work our way up to the next row, we're just going to chain up one. We're going to flip our work and then into this first net that we have, we're going to be putting just one single crochet and then into the net that we have after this, we're going to go in with our shell. So prepare for a double crochet. We're going to go in with two double crochet so here's one here's two once we have that we're going to chain out two and then put two more into that same loop so one two double crochet and we're now finished up with our shell and then into this next net loop single crochet let's do this together one more time prepare for a double crochet into this next loop chain no two double crochet and then chain two and then two double crochet into that same net and then single crochet into the one right after so go ahead and keep doing this all the way down we've just finished up doing a row of shell to single crochet 
And now we're going to start working our way up so that we can expand just a little bit more. So in order to do the next row, we're going to be chaining up three, flip our work. We're going to prepare for a double crochet. And then we're going to do a shell inside of this shell gap that we have in the previous row. So we're going to do two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet all into that same gap. And once we have that, we're going to prepare for a double crochet and then into the single crochet row that we have, well, into the single crochet loop that we have in the previous row, there we go, we're going to insert our hook with a double crochet. So right into this loop, we're gonna go in with a double crochet. And then from here, we're gonna prepare for a double crochet and then put a shell into this shell. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet, once we have that, prepare for a double crochet into this single crochet loop that we have in the previous row, double crochet, and then continue to do this all the way down. We just finished up doing our second row of shells and we're just going to keep expanding with shells until we reach the bottom and then we will do a single row of double crochet, but we'll talk about that later. But in order to get up to the next row, we're going to do a chain up of three. This counts as a double crochet. We're gonna flip our work. And then for this row, since we are continuing to expand, we're going to chain one more on top of this. So an original chain of four. And from here, we're gonna prepare for a double crochet. We're gonna put a shell inside of this shell. So there's one, there's two. Chain two, two more double crochet into this shell. And then from here, we are expanding, like I said, we're going to chain one, prepare for a double crochet. And then from here, we're gonna put one double crochet into this double crochet loop that we have. And then chain one, and then shell into the shell in the previous row. So this is going to be exactly the same as the previous row, but just with a chain one in between everything that we have. And I'll meet you guys back once we make it to the end. We've just finished up this next row of shells with a chain one in between and we are still expanding. So in order to work our way up to the next row, we're going to chain up three. This counts as a double crochet, two on top of that. So five in total, flip our work. We're going to go into this first shell with another shell. So two double crochet, chain two, and then two double crochet. And then once we get here, we're going to chain out two and then double crochet into this double crochet loop. And from here, chain two. And we're gonna keep doing this pattern all the way down. We just finished up with doing our most recent row <laughs> of our shell where we increased again. So it was shell, chain two, double crochet, chain two shell, and we did that all the way down. And then from here on out, it's going to depend on what size yarn you're using because I'm using category three. I'm gonna go ahead and do one more row of increased shells, but I have done this with a category four and it actually ends well right here. And then keep in mind that we will add in another inch of just double crochet border along the bottom. So I'm gonna go in with one more row where it's a chain three shell chain three double crochet chain three shell and then keep doing that all the way down and then i'll show you guys how to do the next or the last row of this chest piece and then if you guys obviously need to stop here go ahead and stop and then we can move forward within the next clip so i will be our b So I have just finished up doing my last row of shell increases. And then from here, we're just gonna go straight across with a row of chains that goes all the way across. And that's gonna be our base for the last row that we're gonna have for this upper chest portion. And our last row is just gonna be double crochets, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But really quickly, this is all gonna depend on how many chains you have in between your shell and double crochets in the last row that you did. So as you guys can see, I have a chain of three in between each shell and double crochet. So in order to start up this next row, we're going to 
chain up three. This always counts as a double crochet. And since I have a chain of three in the previous row, I'm just going to add one more. So I'm going to add up a chain of four on top of this chain of three that we have. So here's one, two, three, four. Flip our work. And then into this first shell gap that we have, we're going to go in with a single crochet. And then once we have that, I'm going to do another chain up of four, one, two, three, four, or however many chains you need. I'm going to prepare for a double crochet. Double crochet once into this double crochet loop that we have right here. And then that is that. Let's do this together one more time. So we're going to chain out one, two, three, four, single crochet into the next shell gap. And then one more time, one, two, three, four, prepare for a double crochet, double crochet once into this double crochet loop. And then we're going to keep doing this all the way down. Now that we've made our way all the way across with our chains, this next row is going to be super duper easy. All we're going to do is chain up three. If it lets us, it's <laughs> chain up three. That counts as a double crochet. And all we're going to do is prepare for a double crochet and go down our entire chain that we have going all the way down to the other end putting one double crochet into every loop. And then once we get to the end, we're gonna cut and tie, and then we're gonna start working on the body portion. We have made our way all the way to the end with our row of double crochet, and then this next row is gonna be another row of solid double crochet, but with an increase into every 15th loop. So from here, we're just going to chain up three, prepare for a double crochet, and then put one double crochet into every loop until we get to 15, and then we're gonna be doing an increase, but I'll show you how to do that once when we get there. We put one double crochet into the first 14 loops, and we're at the 15th, and we're going to do an increase. So all we're gonna do is prepare for a double crochet, insert, Yarn over, pull through, double crochet into that 15th, and we're going to put one more double crochet into that same 15th loop. And then we're going to continue to do that all the way down. So double crochet into the next 14, into the 15th to an increase, and keep doing that all the way down until we make it to the end. Go ahead and cut and tie. This is what we should have once we have finished up doing our two rows of solid double crochet. I went ahead and cut and tied. And then from here, we're going to want to measure this up to ourselves to figure out where we want the body portion to be. And from one end to where I put my first, first stitch marker, I have six inches. This is on both sides. And then from stitch marker inward to the next stitch marker, I have seven inches. This is going to be different for everyone, so go ahead and figure it out for yourselves and then once we have that we're going to go from one stitch marker to the next with a very simple row of net so in order to get that started we're going to insert our hook into the side we're going to pull this through and then we're just going to go in with a row of net like i said so we're going to pull through chain up four one two three four we're going to prepare for a double crochet we're going to skip one loop double crochet into the loop after that Let's do this one more time. We're going to skip. We're not going to skip. We're going to do a chain up of one. Prepare for a double crochet. Now we're going to skip one loop and then double crochet into the loop after that. And go ahead and keep doing this until we reach our next stitch marker. Once we have our row of net, we're going to need to put this up to ourselves again to see where we want our cutout to be. And then all that is for me is from the outside of the net to where I place my stitch markers is about an inch and a half and then from the inside one stitch marker to the next is about two inches but this going to go ahead and figure this out for yourselves but from here all I'm going to do is single crochet all the way until I get to this first stitch marker and then I'm only going to be working on one side first we're going to cut and tie and then work on the second side so I'm just going to go ahead and go through with a row of single crochet until we get to this first stitch marker and then I'll show you guys what to do from there We have single crocheted all the way over to our first stitch marker, and then we're going to work our way up to do the next row. But in every other row, we're going to be doing an increase 
only on the inside. So what we're going to do is chain up one, flip our work, and since we're on the inside right here, we're going to do an increase into this first loop. So we're going to put two single crochets into this first loop, and then go ahead and put one single crochet into every loop going back down our work once we reach the end we're going to chain up one and then single crochet back but since this is an odd number row the next one's going to be an odd number row we're not going to do an increase in there we're only going to be increasing into every other row like i said but we're going to keep going with this type of work which is single crochet and then increasing into every other row until we get to where we want our cutout to end but it doesn't necessarily have to be where it comes to a point because that may be a little long for you. This is all going to be up to you. So I'll meet you guys back once when I have this chunk that I want and then I will show you guys what to do from there. So this is what I have so far. It looks a little nuts right now. But these are the two sides that we have so that you guys can obviously see this is the cutout. And then I didn't want mine to touch so I left this little gap. And then from here we're just going to go across with single crochet, a chain to connect these two pieces and then single crochet back. And then after that we're just going to go back and forth with a chunk of single crochet. So really quickly, I'm just going to insert my hook into this corner. I'm going to take my yarn, single crochet until we get to this corner, and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. We have single crocheted all the way down one of our chunks, sides, whatever we're going to call it. And then really quickly, before we start to just make a random chain and connect it to the other side, we're going to want to put this up to ourselves and see the gap that we have in the middle, and then make your chain according to the measurement that you have for the gap. So I am going to make my chain, and then once we have that, we're going to insert our hook into this other corner with a slip stitch, and then single crochet all the way down. And then once we reach the end, we're going to chain up one, single crochet back, and then keep going back and forth like that until this entire chunk reaches underneath your bust. And then really quickly, this little chunk that I have both of them are just nearly two inches. But yeah, once we have this, go ahead and keep going back and forth until we have a chunk that is long enough to fit underneath our bust, and then I will show you guys what to do from there. This is what we should have so far. I have just finished doing the body portion, and from our first row of single crochet, all the way down to the bottom, I have five and a half inches, and this is gonna be different for everyone, but I have five and a half inches. And then next, we're just gonna work on a really simple bottom border, but first we're gonna to need to make a chain that goes from this corner that extends outwards. And really quick tip is that we're not gonna to want to extend this too far out. I'm probably only gonna go an inch, maybe an inch and a half, but that is because this entire chunk that we have right here, not including the neck portion, so we're going to take a look at where our ribbing is on the back. So this entire portion is going to be our, I guess, back panel that introduces our corset back tie. So this is going to be the entire backing. And I've done one already where I did this as the entire back panel. And since these are so thick, they actually touched in the back. That's why I'm remaking it, making sure that this guy is small. And this guy's small because it'll be attached to the back panel. So now that we know all that, I'm going to go out just about an inch. So I'm going to make a regular chain of an inch. And then I'm going to attach it to this corner. Now that we have our super itty bitty chain, we're going to insert our hook into this corner. We're going to yarn over, pull through everything. And then from here, we're just going to go across the bottom and put one single crochet into every loop once we make it to the end we're going to make a chain that is the same amount that we have on this side just to make sure that everything is even and then i'll show you guys what to do from there now that we have our little chain off the side what we're going to do from here is block off this last chain we're going to do a chain up of two this counts as a half double crochet prepare for a half double crochet 
insert our hook into that loop that we blocked off or the third loop from the hook with, y'all guessed it, a half double crochet. And then into the chain, it all depends on how you're doing your chain because I like to go into this back loop or I guess bottom loop for the chain. I'm sorry, not back loop. But once when we get to our single crochet rows right here, we're going to start working into the back loops just so that we can kind of differentiate the body portion to the bottom border. But I'll show you guys how to do that in three seconds when we get there. Okie dokie, so really quickly before we get started on doing the half double crochet back loops and or front loops, we're going to talk about that in a second, along the bottom we're first going to need to take a look at where our ridging is, because remember I mentioned this earlier in the video, this portion is for the neck, we have this ridging here so that when we wear it, it's easier for it to sit up along the neck, and since this ridging is going to be on the inside, we're going to make sure that this stays on the inside. So really quickly, I'm going to take a look at it. Since this is the inside, I want my ridging for this bottom portion, obviously, to be on the outside. So for me, I'm going to be doing front loop half double crochets. So I'll show you guys how to do that and then also the reason why I'm doing it in three seconds. All right, so taking a look back into the body portion, what we're looking at right now, this is the back because this is the inside portion because this is where the seam is for the neck. I'm going to keep that towards me, but obviously if you guys are working on the other side, that's completely fine. Go ahead and just try and figure out which way you want this front edging to be, if that makes sense. So <laughs> since I'm going to have the front edging on this front panel, the panel that's furthest away from us, we're going to be doing front loop half double crochets. Sorry. We're going to prepare for a half double crochet. And then for me, this is going to be different for everyone. Please keep that in mind. For me, I'm going to be going in with front loop. That's not a front loop. Also not a front loop. Front loop, half double crochets going all the way down. And we're only going to be doing our front and or back, whatever you guys have loops uh, just for this row. So go ahead and do that all the way down. And then once when you guys reach our little chain that we have on the side. This doesn't matter. Go ahead and just make regular half double crochets into whatever loop <laughs> you can get your hook into. And then I'll show you guys what to do from there. So we have just made our way all the way across with our half double crochet loops. And for me, my work had front loop half double crochets and as you guys can see possibly there's a little itty bitty bit of ribbing that we have right here and that is perfect that's what we want real subtle but you can also tell what it is and then for this we're just going to make a band of half double crochets nothing fancy and that will be the bottom band we're not doing anything crazy here so really quickly just in order to work our way up we're going to be doing a chain up of two. So here's one, here's two. Flip our work and then just go into every loop once with a half double crochet. And then once we make it to the end, chain up two, half double crochet back. And then go ahead and keep doing that until you have the bottom band size that you guys need. I haven't quite decided the size that I want for mine yet. So I will do mine, cut and tie. No, I'm not going to cut and tie. I'm going to make mine and then I will give you guys my measurements and then from there we will be doing the back panel. So go ahead and do that. I will meet you guys back. I have just finished up doing my bottom border of half double crochets and then from this little seam that we have or ridging, whatever we want to call it, from this little ridging that we have all the way down to the bottom, I have just about an inch and a half. And as you guys can see, I went ahead and did one of the back panels like so and we are about to do the next one together so the next thing that we have to do is put this up to ourselves and then we're going to need to figure out the length that we need in between this corner shoulder piece versus this bottom border corner piece and i already went ahead and measured mine out mine is eight inches so for most of you guys you guys should still be attached to one of your bottom corners we're going to go ahead and single crochet all the way up until we get to this corner and then whatever measurement that we have, we're going to make that measurement and then attach it into this corner with a slip stitch. And then I'll show you guys what to do right after that. 
So really quickly, getting started on our row of single crochet along the bottom border first, since most of these are side half double crochets, what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook into the first side half double crochet with one single crochet, and then into the one after that we're going to be putting two single crochet. So we're going to be alternating between every other side half double crochet. So we just did the two into the next one. We're going to be putting one single and into the one after that two single and then keep going back and forth like that until we reach this corner and like I said we're going to from here make a chain that reaches this shoulder corner loop right here and mine is eight inches like I said again and then I'll meet you guys back once we've connected it into this loop with a slip stitch we have made our chain and connected it with a slip stitch into this corner loop that we have and now we're going to start working in these side half or not not side half side double crochets so we can have our back panel and so what we're going to do from here we're going to work our way up to the next row so into this next side double crochet that we have we're going to be putting two single crochet into there and then also there's going to be a loop in between this first row and the second row or in between any row really but there's going to be this one loop we're also going to be going into that loop with just one regular single crochet and then once we have that we're going to flip our work and then we're going to be putting one double crochet into every loop going back down our chain all the way down our side side panel all the way down our bottom border as well but into this first one we're going to be doing a really little increase because this is at an increase since this starts at the base of your shoulder so from here we're going to prepare for a double crochet into this first loop we're going to go in with two double crochet so here's one and then into that same loop two double crochet and then from here prepare for a double crochet and then go ahead and put one double crochet into every loop going back down our work we've made our way all the way down with our row of double crochet and what we're going to do now is just do a regular row of net going all the way back so we're going to chain up four well yeah four the first three count as a double crochet we're going to flip our work prepare for a double crochet skip one loop double crochet into the loop after that let's do this one more time chain up one prepare for a double crochet skip one loop double crochet into the loop after that we're going to keep doing this all the way down but at the very end we are going to end on an increase so i'll show you guys how to do that once when we get there We've made it all the way down with our row of net and like I said we're going to end on an increase. So I have our double crochet right here and I don't have any more loops to go into so I'm going to do a chain out of two instead of just the one that we were doing. And then from here we're going to take a look at this next loop that we have in between these two rows of double crochet. So we're going to skip this row since this kind of is the same row and then we're going to go into this corner loop that we have with a single crochet. And that's how we connect it and then in order to work our way up to the next row we're going to put two single crochets into that next gap and then also one single crochet into this middle loop that we have in between these two rows of double crochet once we have that we're going to chain out one flip our work and then this is going to be our row of increases so what we're going to do is prepare for a double crochet put two double crochet into this first gap that we made just like that and then from here chain up one prepare for a double crochet two double crochet into that next gap and we're going to keep doing this all the way down we have just made our way down with our row of thicker net whatever we're going to call this and now we're going to start doing rows of shells just like how we have over here so what we're going to do is chain up three one two three counts as a double crochet flip our work prepare for a double crochet and then we're going to count out four loops one two three four into that fourth loop we're going to do a shell so two double crochet chain two and then two double crochet and then once we have that we're going to prepare for a double crochet count out one two three four insert your hook into that fourth with just one double crochet 
Let's do this one more time. Prepare for a double crochet. Count out one, two, three, four. Into that fourth loop, we're going to do a shell. So two double crochet, chain two, two double crochet. Then from here, prepare for just one double crochet. Count out one, two, three, four. One double crochet into that fourth loop. And then we're going to keep doing this all the way down. We are going to increase once we get to the end. And I will show you guys how to do that once when we get there. We are at the end of our first row of shells, as you guys can see, and we're going to attach it to the chest portion. And like I said, we're going to be doing an increase. So in between all of our shells and double crochets, we didn't have anything, but all we're going to do to increase is just do one chain and then connect it to the chest portion. So this is the row that we were kind of working in, and then we're going to go into that loop in between those next two double crochet rows with a slip stitch and then we're going to single crochet into the next side double crochet and then also into this loop flip our work and then i'm going to do another increase so i'm going to do a chain up of one two prepare for a double crochet and then put a shell into the shell and then when you get to the double crochets, put a double crochet over that double crochet. And then we're going to keep doing this all the way back and forth until we're taking a look at our work until we have how many rows? Let's do two, three. Until we have three rows left. So looking from where our ridging is for the neck, we're not going to go into the neck at all. So I'm going to keep going until I just have one, two, three rows left and then those last three rows are going to be solid double crochets so i'm going to be doing this for just a little bit more i'll meet you guys back once when we have all of our shell rows done and we will go from there i've now finished up doing my row of rows multiple rows of shells and as you guys can see this is where the ridging is so i'm counting out one two three i have three rows left and this is going to be our solid double crochet rows but right before we start doing our solid double crochets we're going to need to do a chain that goes directly across because that will be the base of our double crochets so we're going to start this off by chaining up three we're going to flip our work and then into this first shell we're going to be putting a single crochet no we're not we're going to chain up three and then once we have our chain up of three we're going to do another chain up of two so five in total and then we will be doing our single crochets and then from here we're going to do another chain up of two prepare for a double crochet and then double crochet into this double crochet loop that we have in between our two shells so basically <laughs> we're going to be doing a chain up of two in between our double crochets to single crochets and then we're going to do this all the way down and then i'll show you guys how to connect it to the base from there We've done our chains all the way across and now we're ready to connect into the base and then we have been doing increases all the way up until we got to our last shell row and then whatever this last increase was for you guys just do the same thing plus one so this last one was an increase of three for me so i'm going to do a chain up of three and then plus one so four in total and then i'm going to be going into this same loop that we are in just for this row and then once we have that, then we're going to go back to normal, single crochet up the next two loops, and then also into this loop that we have in between those two double crochet rows, flip our work, and then from here we're just going to be going down with double crochets, nothing fancy. Once we reach the end, chain up three, double crochet back, and then connect it into this base, and then we're going to keep doing that until we reach our ribbing or until we reach the base of the neck because we're not going to go up over the neck but this could be different depending on however many rows you have so you guys can go ahead and adjust from there but i'll meet you guys back once when i have all of this done we now have the majority of our back panel all finished and if you guys take a look at it then we have done our back panel all the way up until we got to the base of the neck portion and the only thing that we have to do next is do a row of net just so that we can connect everything together so that we can wear it so how we're going to do that is we're going to start off by doing a chain up of four uh, one two three four 
the first three count as a double crochet. We're going to prepare for a double crochet, skip one loop, go into the loop after that with a double crochet. Let's do this one more time. Chain up one, prepare for a double crochet, skip one loop, go into the loop after that with a double crochet. And then we're just going to keep doing that all the way up until we get to where the back panel and the base of the neck meet and then we're just going to do the tiniest little decrease there and then I'll show you guys what to do from there. We've done our row of net all the way up until we got to where the neck and the back portion meet and then what we're going to do from here is a tiny little decrease like I said so all that decrease is going to be is to not do a chain in between our double crochets. So we're at our last loop right before we start going into the neck. So we're just going to prepare for a double crochet, no chain in between, and then into whatever this monstrosity of a connection we have. We're going to go in with a double crochet, and then from here, we're going to chain up one, prepare for a double crochet, and then we have the side double crochets to go into, but you guys should know where these side double crochets are. There is this loop in between. We're going to go into there with our double crochets. So let's do that let's stick together really quick because we are almost done with this and then once when we've made our way all the way up to the top what we're going to do is chain up one flip our work and then we're going to work our way all the way down with just a row of single crochet once we make it to the end cut and tie because we are all done and then everything that you did on this side go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and i'll meet you back once we have both of them done We've just finished up doing the back panels and now we're going to do a little bit more detail on this top and then we'll be all done. But the next thing we're going to do is just do these side panels in the front just to extend this out a little bit but also give it just a little something something on the side. So let's do that together. We're first going to take a look at the side of our work. It doesn't matter which side you look at first. But we are going to count up the base that we're in so whether if it's this base or the bottom border base whichever we're going to take a look at this loop that we're currently in and then we're going to count up one two insert your hook into that second loop with a slip stitch and then from here we're going to automatically prepare for a double crochet and then we're going to go into this first side double crochet that we have with two double crochet so there is one two and then the rest of this we're going to be working into these side single crochet rows so there's not going to be any real loops for us to go into but y'all already know the deal figure it out and then we're going to connect to the base on the other side but i'll show y'all how to do that once when we get there We just finished up doing our first row of side panel, double crochet I guess, and then what we're going to do from here is connect it to the base, so we're going to count up one, two loops, insert your hook into that second with a slip stitch, then we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops and then double crochet back and then connect it to the other side of the base that we have, and then we're going to do one more row of net and then we'll be all done with this portion. We have just finished up our second row of our side panel. And then, like I said, we're just going to do a row of net. So we're going to slip stitch up the next two loops, flip our work, prepare for a double crochet, put one double crochet into this first double crochet loop that we have. And we're going to chain up one, prepare for a double crochet, skip one loop, go into the loop after that with a double crochet. Then we're going to keep doing this all the way down. Once we make it to the end, we're going to connect with a slip stitch and then we're going to cut and tie. And then we're going to do the same thing that we did here on the other side. We've now finished up doing our side panels that we have, so two rows of double crochet and then a row of net. And then one of the last things that we're going to do is just do a really quick border along the inside of our cutout right here, just to clean it up a little bit. So all we're going to do is insert our hook into this corner, then we're going to single crochet all the way around, but when we get to these corners we're going to do a decrease. So I'll show you how to do that once we get to this first corner. We've made our way over to this first corner and we're just going to do a little decrease of two. So we're going to insert our hook into one of these loops that we have, if we can, yarn over, pull through, and then into this next loop, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through everything on the hook. 
and that's how we're going to do the decreases when we get to each of the corners but we're going to single crochet all the way around once we make it back to this first single crochet that we did we're going to connect with a slip stitch and cut and tie we have finished up cleaning up our cutout and one of the last things that we have to do is make a extremely long chain so that it can weave in and out of all of these loops and i already have mine and the length is going to depend on how many loops you guys have so go ahead and just make yours and then after that we're just going to weave in all of our ends and then we will be all done this top you guys i am so excited for this top you guys have no idea i love all the details and how you don't need any accessories with this this is the epitome of a staple piece but anyways, I'll stop gawking over it. I just hope you guys like it as much as I do. And if you guys do, please give this video a thumbs up. It's right beneath the video. It lets YouTube and I know you're enjoying the videos. And it goes a really long way towards helping the channel. So we can keep growing and gain some traction. But if you didn't like it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs down. That's also right beneath this video. But be sure to tell me why you didn't like it. Or if you have any questions, requests, or if you just want to say hi, you leave a comment down there too. If you love it, do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. If you haven't already, it's right beneath the video. It'll let you know when there's a new video uploaded to the channel, get you a bit more priority when it comes to requests, and it goes a really long way with helping the channel grow so I can keep making all these great videos for you guys. And if you're already subscribed, huge thanks to you guys, but please hit that notification bell to know when there's a new video uploaded for you right away, and please share with your crafty friends. Every bit helps. Links to the yarn and the hooks will be in the description, and if you buy something using those links, that also goes towards helping out the channel. And lastly, Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest links are down there as well, and as always guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.